Uh, I have been involved in security management for about 13 years and before that another seven years dealing with um, festival production and I've known Gregory for a good portion of that. I'm the operations director at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival as well as Essence Music Festival and the company I work with produces a lot of other events, smaller than that, bigger, you know, one-time concerts, that sort of thing. So I've been involved in a lot of different uh, types of, of events. I also work with a private security company that provides staffing for uh, lots of venues in town as well as the Superdome, uh, NFL events. Uh, we did LSU this year um, and uh, so that's a little bit different perspective but uh, still all security related. Um, I don't really have any formal education in security and I got sort of into it purely by accident in the production world. Uh, to me, it just takes a lot of common sense and a knowledge of, of the events that you're doing. So, and that's what happened to me. I had a, a knowledge of the jazz festival and uh, I just sort of happened on it uh, accident, accidentally and people started asking me, well, you know, what, do you th what would you do? And then the next thing you knew, I was the security director. So Essence came along and I took over that role there. Um, a little bit different, it's held in the Superdome as opposed to an outdoor event. But again, common sense, you can apply the things that you've, that you've learned uh, to any type of event or situation. Um, there are, there, there aren't a whole lot, or there weren't a whole lot when I was uh, getting started, classes like this uh, and curriculum that you could study these things. So it was just a matter of learning from your peers and uh, getting as much information as you could. There are some organiza good organizations out there like International Assembly Managers Association. They have uh, a lot of information on their website and they, help, they hold conferences and seminars uh, as it relates to managing venues. I uh, went to a, a conference recently and there were people there from all the major sporting venues, a lot of universities, uh, people who manage uh, the sporting uh, venues and entertainment venues on universities, which has uh, gotten to be a bigger and bigger job, as well as uh, tour management people, that sort of thing. So it covers a wide scope. As far as the practical aspects of the sort of security stuff that I do, such as figuring out how much security I need for a venue or for an event, again, uh, it comes with experience. There's no basic, there's no formula that you can apply to it. Um, you just have to know something about uh, uh, the different aspects of the event and, and figure out what to do. You might be dealing with you know, a very small venue, a few people, or you might be dealing with something like at the Superdome Essence where there may be 55,000 people uh, at an event or Jazz Fest where there could be 100,000 people uh, at an event at any, get, at any given time. Flexibility is also really important. Things change constantly with security and you have to be uh, flexible and again use your knowledge and your experience to uh, fix and do whatever you have to do to make things work.